penalty phase of convicted Daytona Beach serial killer Robert Hayes is underway. Last week, a jury convicted Hayes of murdering three women between 2005 and 2006, while Hayes was a student at Bethune-Cookman University. West Jews Claire Metz is live at the Justice Center. And Claire, the state is seeking the death penalty against Hayes. Yes, prosecutors say the cold, calculated, premeditated killings of these women deserves the harshest punishment. However, attorneys for Robert Hayes hope they can provide mitigating circumstances in order to save their client's life. 39-year-old Robert Hayes is in the courtroom and has been watching all along. He was a young college student when he murdered first Laquita Gunther, then Julie Green, and finally, I want a patent. The women were all shot in the head, found naked, two of them in remote areas of the city. After opening statements by the prosecutor and defense attorney, the state introduced victim impact testimony. The jury heard from Laquita Gunther's daughter and then Julie Green's sister. The what ifs and what could have been either keep me up at night or haunt my dreams. My mom mattered. Yes, Julie did have a high-risk lifestyle, but no matter what lifestyle she lived, she did not deserve to be murdered. Now, Hayes' defense attorney introduced one of his cousins who testified by Zoom that he was a responsible son, a good father who held down a number of jobs. She said she never heard him raise his voice. And the defense is still calling several others on Robert Hayes' behalf, including friends from college while he was a student here at Bethune-Cookman in Daytona Beach. They spoke of kindnesses done by Hayes for them. They said they never saw him angry and that he acted appropriately around women, children, many of his friends. Now, this penalty phase is expected to run at least through tomorrow, Tuesday, perhaps into Wednesday. We'll be following developments for you. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.